Lots of opportunity. For El Toro. Don't hmm. let that place cast a shadow on your head forever. I guess things... Heldrell didn't want us. And those druids sure as hell didn't either. But you... You risked your life for us. I left my sword in the cave. Don't tell, but... I don't want to touch it again. It smells bad out here. I want to go home. I'm it with us. I'm glad you killed all the goblins. I hope you made them scared. Find the room. <clears throat> God, it seems we might actually make it to the city now. Hope the neighbors are a bit more welcoming. Don't know why everyone's cheering. We're just going back on the road. Mattis says we should say thank you. I'm glad you didn't die. No discounts once I'm running the wider Baldur's Gate mind. You do good work. If you can handle more than goblins, might be I'll have use of you in Baldur's Gate. Always a deal to be done, even now. Not to die up there. I'm not in the clear. I'm yet. your lummox. Keep sharp. Yes, until we're standing you are. on cobbles in Baldur's now, Gate. Stop. I hate you. You killed all the goblins, and now we can't practice swords anymore. I'm glad you came through it alive. We owe you more than we can repay. The more weapons we have on show, the less likely anyone will would. give us trouble. You took care of the goblins. Nice work. From now on. Watching gods. While I was training children, you were out cutting down an entire goblin camp. Now it's back to the road, I suppose. Never ends, does it? You're not picking a gift. With the goblins dead, we might actually make it to Baldur's Gate. I'd have put good coin on you running off into the sunset. But you did it. You stopped the goblins. Thank you. You've solved one problem for us. Guess it's on us to solve the next. You killed the goblins. Hope you made them suffer. I'll give it a shot. Here lies Cannon. He gave his life defending others. He will be missed. I expected goblins at our gate any moment. Glad to say that you made a prettier sight.
What a mess. I wonder if the goblins have anything valuable on them. left us to our fate running off like you did. Glad I was wrong. Now we get separated, we need to break camp fast, remember? Back to worrying about road rations it is. So many mouths to feed, but, well, that's not a bad problem to have. Thank you, truly. One sorrow ended, the next soon to begin. We didn't die today. Tomorrow, perhaps, but not today. Thanks to you. I guess things are... Bold as gates, we're coming. We couldn't have held them back on our own. Thank you. Glad to see some goblin blood spilled for a change. I was sick of running from those rats. It was you, right? Who took care of the goblins? I knew you were a good one. I nearly dispatched those goblins myself, but it seems you managed well enough. And why wield a masterwork where a butcher's blade will do? My thanks, truly. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. Well, to each their own. I wasn't sure we'd make it through. Hells take me. What I wouldn't do for Beth. What's inside? Stop me yet. What path lies before me.
You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place. Forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. I owe you nothing. Goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence! The right has been ended. I will allow you to stay, but consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, our place in the natural order. You shall learn it all once again, right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. As you wish, Master Helsin. A misjudgment. One that should weigh heavily upon her. But the Grove still needs her passion. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The Grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. Tomorrow morning, we shall discuss what is to come. What of them? They are our guests until they wish to leave. As I said the day they arrived. But they I should speak up. You think you saved us? You just prolonged the inevitable. Sooner or later, other outsiders will bring trouble to the Grove. I know you stopped the goblins, but... I can't stop looking over my shoulder. It makes it hard to sleep at night. Do you hear them? The birds? They're beautiful. I've thought of nothing but goblins and tieflings for so long. The grove feels safe again. We have you to thank for that. We wasted so much time fighting each other. Sylvanus taught us a lesson by letting an outsider save us. of the goblins, but the grove is changed, wounded. The days ahead won't be easy. I'm glad we have Helsin to guide us. No more fighting. Just peace. I wasn't sure about you at first. Thought you might be trouble. I was very wrong. Let's see what this does. You did this grove a great favor. And now leave the rest to us. Oh, peace is returning to the grove. We have you to thank for that. Peace. Enjoy it while it lasts. You've done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. As am I. The grove will be whole again. And I promised you a reward, didn't I? 
Let me show you on your map where you can find the cache. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. I think it's high time you all left. Our sacred grove has sheltered you enough. Within the inner sanctum, of course. It is not for us to fight your battles. I assure you, the feeling is mutual. I was worried I'd never see Master Halson again. You kept your word. Thank you. Well, you certainly took out more than your fair share. But here, to mend any hurts. The grove's gonna feel so empty now. Take it. It might be useful. This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. Don't worry. You won't come to harm. I'll protect you. You are not ready. That's all right. But try to overcome this resistance sooner rather than later. It will make things much easier for you. isn't to your taste, I'd be happy to consume it in your stead. I don't relish the thought, but if you're going to just leave it sitting in your pack, well, one of us should try it. Oh, I have my reservations, no question. First of all, it looks disgusting. Disgusting. Second, there's a non-zero chance that it'll turn me into a purple glistening monster. But if it doesn't, who knows what kind of power we could unlock. And power is always worth a little risk. Excellent. I'll have a rummage around and help myself in my own good time. Thank you. Your generosity is appreciated.
All right, what now? Moving in. Glaive. So why does touching it give me a knot in my stomach? have stayed interesting. watching me <clears throat> better not be cursed something's on my mind now that Halsin is here, Korga will surely see sense. I hope whatever rot was lurking in her heart can be swiftly cut away. require a new ally. Oh, mayhap. Think of it. No more caves. No more tents. 
No more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. Party's a bit more bearable, thanks to that pint. Would you look at this place? All these people happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. And with good potations, too. I like you, too. <sighs> A lot. I'm sure you know that by now. Oh, God. You know I want that more than fucking anything. I'll come find you when the others have gone to bed. Wait up for me, all right? Yes. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. I saw you with Karnak. You two looked... cozy. Far be it from me to judge. Blood must still be running a little hot after everything. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. It's not talking enough for my liking. Share a bottle with me? Just a bottle. I think you have other plans afterwards. Wouldn't want to keep you. Well, maybe I would. But first come, first served. There. Some liquid courage. And try to get some rest too, if you can. Tomorrow's another day. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland? Hush you, and behold! I'll have you know he can also make them blue. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. An adoring crowd, fine wine. I dare say this place is almost civilized. Ah. 
Only to the untrained eye. That was the fifth time they've asked for fireworks. <laughs> Glorified children, those two. Once my training with Leroican is complete, I'll put on a real show for them. Are Roland and Leah actually getting along? I know you cut down a horde of goblins, but this is far more impressive. Look at them. How happy they are. We did that. <laughs> then I'd best track down a bottle before the rest polish it off. Look us up when you hit Borders Gate. Be nice to see a friendly face. I need to dance! No. No, I need to lie down. Shari! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turn it. Yeah, hells. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. Really? I'm honored. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood, and I didn't want to cast a gray cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the grove, but I unsettle them deep down, as I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. You don't want a devil at your party. Horns this sharp will pop the balloons, you see, and the guests won't take kindly to scars quite so monstrous. spikes beginning to sprout in places they really shouldn't. <clears throat> but, off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. Some time alone beneath the stars and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. Thank you. Come now. This is a night for celebration, not suspicion. I thank you for seeking me out. Amid all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. I was hoping you'd spare me a moment. There was something rather magical I wished to show you. And more's the pity you've already found someone else to make merry with. Just the two of you. You might be in for an adventure with Karlak. More than you bargained for. With a bit of luck. Perhaps more than you bargain for, full stop. Far be it from me, of course, to question your tastes. Jealousy is in the eye of the beholder, or something along those lines. The wine might be the fuddling me a smidge. The point is, I have hope. Each new sunrise may yet be the one to coax our budding bond to blossom. But I think it's fair to say, it won't be today's. Now please, go and enjoy your evening. This won't be the first party I've spent moping in self-indulgence with a bottle of wine for company. Settle in. 
I do hope you have partaken of something bracing. This may well take us all night. But I am engaged in celebration of the purest form. Commemoration. If we are to write your legend in the stars, then we must first give you a name. That ballad was but a crude preview, a frame without its crowning jewel. Your nom de guerre. Something iconic, but not too much of a mouthful. We don't want to exclude the common folk, after all. I intend this tale to enrapture all. A wonderful one indeed. But your deeds loom larger than life now, my friend. You simply must have a title to match. Exactly wrong, my friend. I urge you to leave the fact-finding to experts, hmm? Now, back to your revels. I have some details of your victory to rearrange. Away and have your fun. I have a myth to make. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? Fitting. You're braver than half this camp combined. That deserves to be remembered. song was coming along then things began spinning worry not i shall return to it at first light go on now don't waste a night like this talking to me we'll discuss your problem tomorrow later perhaps don't worry about me <sighs> a night under the stars amidst nature's creation is just what I need after being locked up in the goblin's dungeon. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. You came through for us. That's a change from most adults, I know. And that sounds like the wine drowning your wits. Go on, enjoy yourself. I've squirreled away a few extra bottles. When the barrel's tapped out, I'll be there to save the night. For a price, of course. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades, yet they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. A pity for us you have promised your body to the tiefling. I've no doubt you will satisfy your tastes for the mundane. For now. 
But come morning, you will wonder. You will wonder how my lips might have tasted. How my fingers on your skin might have felt. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. True. That was fun. Still, I would have liked more for my trouble than a pat on the head and vinegar for wine. It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? Not at all. I was hoping for companionship. And, well, maybe a little death. Figuratively speaking. It's easy for some, of course. You and Karnak seem to be getting on very well. It's none of my business, of course. I wouldn't want to intrude. Watch, maybe. But never intrude. <laughs> no, my love. I'm not jealous of the tiefling. But you go ahead. Have fun. Your song was coming along. quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? Hey, you soldier. I think everyone's asleep. May I? Hello, you. I've been waiting for this all night. Isn't it mad? How good life is. Yes! Soldier, you're saving me! Every time you speak my name, fight beside me, share what's yours, I'm reminded that I'm alive. Properly alive. And free. Oh, gods, I want to ride you to you see stars. What I want and what I can have are two very different things. I'm just... Mm, combustible. Ten years is a long time without anyone's touch but my own. And when I look at you, I just feel... explosive. Around you all order. But if you've got an idea, I'm all ears.
Sleep on it, maybe. If you've thought of something by morning, I'd love to know. For now, it's enough just to know you care enough to try. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. We get a cure, and the chance to hit these assholes where they live. Sounds good. Wait. There's more you need to know. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. So it seems, though I don't know how. You will have to choose your approach carefully. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. You'll need to pick it up where Aradin left off. Find the hidden entrance. It's somewhere in the Temple of Saluna. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. May Sylvanus guide us. Oh, hi. If you have any ideas, I'm all for it. Give me all you've got. Might even work. Come here. Hmm. I'm dizzy. And you, are you all right? I hope that's true. Because I'm hoping for seconds, thirds, and fourths once we find a way to cool off this engine. 
Mine too. Soon enough, you're going to be mine. But until then, I'll play nice. You have your fun with the others till then. I don't mind sharing, if I must. But keep a piece left over for me, hmm? I'd believe you if you said one plus one is seven.